There's a guy in Texas that this is called a triple play, but he uses a DOA cow on his uh, on his spinner bait. Makes them all different kinds. This is, I mean, I don't even know. I'm not a bass fisherman, but Colorado blades or diamond blades or whatnot. It all depends on the vibration it gives. And since the water's so dirty here, this is a great search bait because you can work it fast, you can work it quick. You hit all these little points, all these little grass islands sticking up. There's bait around them and hopefully there's some big fat redfish. So we will see. You find that green water boy. There he is. Oh look I got him over the grass. Come on out baby. Another one in there with him. Was there? Oh, yeah there you go. That's the kind you like to have. Taking him a little drag, boy. There he is. Looks like a pretty good fish too. Nah, he's not that big. Redfish are mean here, boy. Mean. Because they know they're gonna get eat. It's a pretty redfish. Yeah, he's at least they're fat in here. We find the right ones. I think they'll be good. Still fat. I don't know what they eat in here. The crabs. That's a little spinnerbank. Snickers. The Snickers. Tell you that. And there's your nice little pretty redfish. Look how gold they are in here. Uh, he's a small one, but you know, in a tournament where you're, look at those spots on that side too. But when you're in a tournament where there's not catching fish someplace like Fernandina Beach, you, uh, <clears throat> you kind of learn to appreciate fish like that. But uh, we're gonna keep on fishing, take a little break. Y'all stay tuned, we'll be right back with some more addictive fishing right here from Venice, Louisiana. Let's go then. We're gonna pull it. You're gonna pull it. Oh yeah, look at that weight. Right up there. He's all the way back in that pocket. To the left? On the right hand, that little pocket on the right hand side up there. He's in there, boy. Wait for first. Wait the first better thing. Oh, I didn't get it. I know, I know, I know it's not real, but I, I got it. Got to eat this orange thing with the shrimp underneath it. He's coming right at us. There he is. What are you doing? <laughs> Only in Venice, baby. Only in Venice. Oh, there's a stick there. He got over it. He ain't that big. Bigger than the other one, though, huh? Isn't that him? He don't look too bad. We're finding fish. Take a 25 inch. <laughs> There's plenty of those around. That last tournament here when Travis and I were fishing, we'd catch a 25-incher, then we'd catch a 29-incher. 25-incher, then a 29-incher. And that went on and on and on. That one's not as fat. He ain't been eating as good. Still a nice, pretty redfish. Nice, pretty one. Oh, you want to move around since these are a little small? One thing in Venice here, what the fish do, they move north and south. Um, they'll either go up the marsh or down out towards the gulf, depending on the salinity of the water. At least that's, that's my theory. Um, that's what I found and it's, so far it's working. But uh, like I said, we're gonna show you something. We went out fishing with a good buddy of mine, Captain Chris Hevelson, otherwise known as Heavy. For everybody that knows me out there and I talk about Louisiana, I always bring Heavy up and talk about him, but he's a, he is a who, he's a character. But we went out deep blue yesterday. We went off tuna fishing. And, uh, well, let's just roll the tape and show you what we, what we found. Right here. Look at here. Oh, look out, son. That is a tuna fish bait right there. Little baby hardtails. That is the bait we are looking for. Minus the grass, we don't need any salad, Travis, no salad. A full stringer coming oh, up. Oh yeah, talk to me, mommy. Okay, three. You always wanna take him, place the hook behind the head. Go down, make sure it's even so he pulls straight. And make sure the hook does not go back in the bait so he don't turn, and then he'll skip on top of the water. Let's see if this is our lucky bait. Lucky bait, lucky number nine. You always want to throw him far away from the boat, also so he don't swim back in the props, get tangled in the props. So 
Let him just hit it. Got him on. All right, just leave it there. I ain't playing like a tuna. Well, I guess it is a little. You're gonna spool it. Huh? You're gonna spool it. So tighten it before he's pulling it. I did. There you go, put him in the belt. Hopefully, yellowfin number one for the day, number two. How's that? But there he is, he's struggling. Sushi! No, negative on the shark out here. Tighten it, tighten it. Oh, how much you got left? We're good, we're good. Talk to me, Blue. As you can see, we're hooked up with what well, could be a Volkswagen down there. Right. Yeah, you only want to do one or two of these. We're only in 7,000 feet of water. You can't run that far. There. Huh. You get an inch, he takes three. And this guy, a little blue runner, about that big. What'd you say, heavy? Elephants eat peanuts and they're scared of mice. The smaller the bait, it's just as good as the big bait. What you want to do is pull up real slow. The slower you pull up, the less line he'll take out. It'll, you won't feel like you're gaining, but you will be. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed that. I'm about sore today, so it was a uh, it was a fun day out there. Y'all stay tuned. We're gonna be right back, and we did catch a few fish. And uh, check out what we found out in the ocean, where all these fish were hanging around. We'll be right back. Let's go then. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I thought he was coming in the boat. Oh! The guy here? Where's the redfish? Well, welcome back. Hope you all have enjoyed the show so far. We're still out doing the pre-fishing and uh, just for, you know, some information I want to give out. When you're fishing Louisiana like this, there's a lot of this grass like that's down here around us right now. And I love looking for redfish around the grass. They come up and they'll just kind of sit stationary a lot of times. And uh, that's why a spinnerbait works so good here because you can pull a spinnerbait through the grass. It's got a nice little gold flash to it and once they see the bait, they, they just they jump all over it. Well, I told you we did catch a couple of fish on this trip and what we came up on was something that you, you know, I've only seen coming out of the Mississippi River. Great big old, well, you'll see. Check this out. Blair, you don't think that's some of the best eating is the triple tail, huh? Not as good as these dolphin. You think? I like the triple tail. I think the triple tail is some of the best eating in the Gulf. Blair, however, thinks it's the Dorado. Well, we're on our way to the uh, to the tuna spot, and we come across this tree out here. And there's triple tail. There's dolphin. I'm gonna go ahead and smack it. Smack me a dolphin out here. <laughs> oh, I got one. You got a dolphin, son? On a popping cork in 5,000 foot. There's a big one under him. Come over me. I want that dolphin. I want that oh big. Oh my God! Look what's that hitch out there, dude. See that? That might be the old. Oh, look at the Dorado right here. Look at the Dorado, Glenn. I'm looking at him, bro. Trying to get one to eat this. If you throw it way out there and just steady cast. Throw it further, Blair, and just steady real. Just keep it running on top That's of the water and don't going, jerk bro. it. I'm gonna throw some chum. There you go, Blair. There he is, brother. Finally got me a hookup. Well, it can't be too bad, huh? Little dolphin. 
There is so many dolphin out there. Oh, that's cool, man. That is incredible. Throw it back out there. We we'll get you some more. You need one for the back. Absolutely yeah. incredible. Somebody stick this fish. I bet he don't come up that time. Look at all the dolphin. Holy moly. I want that dolphin right there. I know, sometimes they just don't eat, man. <laughs> I'll see which one you want, Blair. Hmm. What, you see him still? No. All right, Blair, I got tactic number two. He's going to it. He's going to it. Thank you, ate it. There he ate it. <laughs> oh, did he spit it? Uh. He twisted around and shit. The key to fishing is fishing where the fish are. <laughs> that the is key, the huh? key. And fishing with Blair Wiggins. Pull away them to him. All right. Well, there you go. A little bull dolphin off the Gulf of Mexico in about 6,000 feet of water. And believe it or not, this dude here ate a live mullet. There's so many Bahama chubs running around here, you can't hardly keep a bait down. Yep, offshore would not be fun. That wind's getting worse and worse. Ooh. Okay, you gotta like that poppy, dude. Uh-oh, a little drag going out. That might be a good fish there, bro. What do you got? A redfish. Oh, that is a nice one. That's the kind we're looking for. Come on in here, Mr. Redfish. He's not that big. I don't know, dude. Bring him on up here. Yeah. Get a measuring. I don't think he's too bad, dude. Oh, that Leo is right down his throat. Fat little Louisiana redfish. I think this would be a good one for heavy too, huh? Yep. He said he wanted two of them. So we'll keep this one for heavy. It's a heavy fish too. You might want to put on a popping cord. <laughs> you got another poppy? Nope. Well, since I couldn't find any of those uh, popping cords, those equalizers around, I went to the next best thing, which is the She Dog. It's a top water plug makes a lot of noise and it's it's kind of a search bait what we call a search bait something you can really cast out and work an area fast and if the fish are being aggressive which they are because they've hit travis's cork a couple of times uh they should eat this top water plug so let's uh let's see what happens oh! there he is and poppy's the craziest thing Mr. Redfish. What'd you do to that shrimp? Bite the tail off and turn it around? Yeah, because the head rip. Yeah, show everybody what you do to that thing. You can use them until they're just totally dead. Yeah, what I did was, you know, I caught a couple fish earlier and it ripped the, ripped the nose of the bait, but you don't have to throw it away. Just bite a little piece of the tail off and hook it backwards and they'll eat it just, just like that, no problem. That way you get more out, use out of your bait. Spend more on gas. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time to change locations. Y'all stay tuned, we'll be right back from a different spot. Right here in the Louisiana Marsh. Let's go then. Ooh, what was that? Follow it. Got a follower? Let's see if he wants the top water. Look at that, dude. Oh, there he is. That was driving him crazy, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Ain't nothing better than a top water hit. If y'all see what I've done, I've changed over to a top water plug now because they've been eating uh, Travis's bobber. It's not a bad one. Nope. I just hate putting all them trouble hooks in the net, but oh well. It's better than getting them in my fingers. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's not a bad fish there. I don't think. 25 and a half inches. 
Flyers blur. Oh, I got one. There he is. Another little redfish. Caught on the, that's a she dog I'm using. It's a noisy little top water plug. You can work it real fast. I'll let this guy go. You can, you can work it real fast, cover a lot of water. And uh, you know, if they're being aggressive like they are because they were hitting this cork, went ahead and doing the top water, even though it is the middle of the day. You know, top water is usually a better bait to throw uh, early morning or late at night or late at dusk because they follow the uh, silhouette of it. But uh, it's a top water plug, still not the right size fish, but it'd, make a, it'd let us place anyway, huh? On today's Rig It Right segment, I'm gonna show you what we were throwing out there in the marsh all day. I like throwing a spinner bait when we're up in Louisiana. It kind of gives a good vibration in that dirty water and it really attracts the redfish. This one here happens to be made by Triple Play. They use DOA products on it, absolutely love it. Now Travis, on the other hand, is throwing something totally different. And I like to throw things different, especially when you have two people on the boat and you're actually searching for the redfish out there. He's throwing what DOA makes, it's called a deadly combination. All it is is a popping cork, and if you can hear that, it makes all sorts of rattling noise. And if you watch Travis, how he's throwing it, right up next to the bank, popping it and just letting it sit, popping it and just letting it sit. Very, very simple bait to work. And this is the She Dog, and it's got the ball bearings in it, so it, it really attracts the fish as you're bringing it through the marsh. And if they're 10, 15 feet away, they're gonna come to that sound. And when they see the bait, it's gonna give you those top water hits that you absolutely love when you're throwing a good top water bait like this mirror lure. Got it rigged with 30 pound Seaguar fluorocarbon leader. I got Finn's fishing line on here now and I'm throwing the new Mogan combo that you can find at your local Dick store. And remember, we have an addictive fishing zone at Dick Sporting Goods now and you can get everything that you see on the show right there at Dick's. And remember, every fishing season starts at Dick's. Rig It Right by Wright and Miguel. A little hit. Ooh, see, what was that? That's a monster daddy red there. That's the kind we wanted. Look how fat that sucker is. Ooh, doggy. That's a good one right there, Junior. Where was he the last tournament? <laughs> Swimming around here somewhere. That was funny. The last tournament, we got so tired of catching redfish. And like I said, we caught 100 in here at least that day. Wow, I was way off on him. 25 and a half. 25 and a half. Well, we know where we can catch these 25 and a halfers. <laughs> They're see. fat, man. We just need them an inch and a half longer. Look at the belly on these things. That's a fat redfish there. <laughs> they definitely eat good here in Venice. Yep. Definitely eat good. Get on out of here, dude. There's some very, very healthy fish. Well, <laughs> we definitely know where we can come get the 25 inches, so hopefully we can, uh, we can go find some bigger fish. But we're about out of time right now. Hope you all enjoyed today's show and maybe learned something about how you go out and find fish in different areas. And, uh, you know, Venice is a great place to come. If you ever get a chance, Cajun Fishing Adventures, they're right in Beerus, Louisiana. They got plenty of guides there that can take you out, or you can bring your own boat and stay there. But a uh, really nice place to come and stay. Once again, I hope you enjoyed the show. Travis and I are going to go see if we can find some of those 26 and 7 8 cents redfish. Let's do it. So until next week, don't forget about the website, addictivefishing.com. That's about it. We'll see you later. Check out more footage from this show by logging on to addictivefishing.com for outtakes and bloopers. Oh, my God. Look at the fish out there, Here's to show you just how much fish love laser sharp hooks. There's a bear hook. I'm going to put it in the water. And that is how you catch an Alma Cut Jack on a bare laser sharp circle hook. <laughs>